Social responsibility is an ethical framework which suggests that an organization or an individual has an obligation to act for the benefit of the society by maintaining a balance between economy and ecology. The South Indian South Education, Education Society, society came to embrace social responsibility by recognizing that they had the ability to induce change. One has to experience poverty to know what poverty is all about. Urban poverty is nothing compared to what we see in the villages. One third of this country goes to bed without even a morsel of food and clean drinking water. How can people go to bed elsewhere in the country and still feel they are proud to be called as Indians? The process of transformation in individuals through the process of education is not just to give, make them graduates, give them higher degrees of the various facets of technology, but to involve them in the process of life. I believe that the present generation needs to be aware of the society in which they are living. And I feel they are not living in a realistic world. They are living in a very well-protected uh, world created by their parents. I took a group of 22 students along with teachers and did a survey so that we could have chalk out an action plan for further development in this area to overcome the sanitation problems, irrigation problems, as well as uh, a daycare center, as well as improvement of school facilities in the area. And therefore I feel somewhere they need to expose themselves to this outer world, see the bitter truth of the life and that can happen only when they go to villages where people do not have the minimum needs satisfied in their day to day life. I feel that our students can really go and share happiness. Our students are the youth who can make a difference. Three bowl wells sunk in the Marathawada district and hand pumps were installed in Latur and Osmanabad. 15,740 saris were distributed amongst 42 trot stricken villages. In 2014, SIS College of Arts, Science and Commerce included the ISR committee into the educational curriculum, hence offering students a chance to get directly involved see such disparity. To one end, crores of money spent to lower in higher sections of the society. To the other end, this, this was Kauthewadi, 72 kilometers away from SIS College of Arts, Science and Commerce. We make a claim that every citizen of a developing country be given at least an opportunity to choose his own fate. What fate can a person choose? when he's too occupied defecating in the open with no clue why hygiene is important. And where do we think students are headed when they feel that earning a sum of 13,000 rupees at the age of 16 is way more valuable than completing education and earning a position in society? The management and the coordinator of this project, Vice Principal of SIES College Art, Science and Commerce, Mr. George Abraham, decided to get their hands dirty. Phase 1 surveying all the villages to expose exactly why illiteracy prevails and then changing it by first offering amenities three major constructions were undertaken by the management the community center the toilet blocks and a school basic amenities provision of water by rainwater harvesting and electrical pumps connected to all public toilets solar lights to compensate for lack of electricity National Service Scheme conducted a residential camp, puppet show for children, communication skills workshop for villagers, yoga workshop, workshop on compost pits by Sri Mukti Sanghatna, street plays on social issues. National Credit Corps and National Service Scheme has worked and is still working towards leadership development and building social unity. The ISR committee is divided into four sections and all activities are planned critically before execution. Students coordinating projects for the Institutional Social Responsibility Committee are excelled forward to develop leadership qualities and are certified for the work they choose to expand in. Education, health and hygiene, environmental issues, financial empowerment. Transformation began with the introduction to the importance of education. 
Communication skills in English were taught to primary students and teenagers were given counseling for anger management as well as personality development. A basic computer skills class was conducted for adults and many recreational activities were introduced for extracurriculum. A second avenue began with the necessity to spread awareness about a good environment and all of its uses. Since the village soil was found to be adequate for farming, our students built a compost pit. Tree plantations were done twice in two years and each village child has now adopted one tree. Every project which was started in collaboration with the villagers was aimed at ultimately being a money earning endeavor. This was possible by skill development projects for all age groups. Awareness for health and sanitation was seen as a sustaining factor for village activities. A healthy society is the most productive. This idea was introduced by the organization of various health camps. Over the two years of work in all these avenues, SIE has scholars seen the participation of 22 departments with commendable determination by both teaching and non-teaching staff and regular visits by an unfailing support of 2,176 students. तर त्यावेळेला बरेचसे प्रॉब्लेम असे होते मुलांना बसायला बेंच नव्हते एसआयएस च्या मार्फत आम्हाला बेंच पुरवले गेले आता जे बेंच आपण पाहतोय हे सर्व एसआयएस ने आम्हाला पुरवलेले आहे त्याबरोबर कलर वगैरे बराचसा खराब झाला होता आमचा बऱ्याच वर्षापूर्वी कलर केला असल्यामुळे कलर वगैरे खराब झाला होता तो पूर्ण कलर करून देण्याचं काम तसेच पत्रे वगैरे जे फुटले होते ते पत्र्यांचं काम करून देण्याचं ह्या खिडक्या जरा वेगळ्या होत्या पहिल्या लाकडी खिडक्या होत्या आमच्या as of today the amenities provided by SIES college are being managed by the villagers themselves a team has been assigned to monitor their participation the beneficiary survey report speaks volumes about all the amenities provided to the villagers in both avenues of infrastructure as well as education through the interviews and the surveys we found out that the villagers have reported that the provision of water construction of toilet blocks and organization of cultural programs to promote social unity are the most prominent efforts of our college. This village was developed with only one goal, to be a model village for other villages in the vicinity and further, where minimal amenities and love for one's roots can transform a rural tribal village to this. Education, thy name. Development, thy name. Advancement, thy name. Kautewadi.